Hi. Sorry about my uh, cringy riffs or cringy guitar playing, but I would like to take this video a very moment because I'm going to be talking about the Ace family and how fake they are. Like, they're the fakest family ever. They make a pair of strippers titties look real. That's how fake they are. Like. I'll go ahead and show you one of the prime examples of what I'm talking about. So Ace Family, I know you guys are probably wondering what's going Dang, on with the title. Well, yeah, they've done YouTube a favor, today I guess. Have but, like, when they show up doubt it. Three or four, and they don't have the balls, and they're very, really, like, plain and well. Whether A's, not him. Okay, so that's gonna be real. But yeah, they're fake behind the camera, as you can see. Because, let me tell you something. If they say that they are nice in camera, and then they go off camera, and then they tweet something like, They're announcing as H3 should not talk about the uh, latest the latest scam thing either. On our last video, we took a <laughs> Alright YouTube. So I'm going to use Sunny V2's video on Ace Family. <laughs> By the way, H3 you also ran a scam app along with along with uh, Rice, uh, uh, Asian Jake Paul and regular Jake Paul. So if you don't want to put up uh, as a hypocrite, then don't do it.
Epic Ed. I'm sorry, but I enjoy every moment of my life. Sure you Their do. big Ace Family home that they're always. Sure you do. Because you guys are the fakest people I've seen all on YouTube. It's like drum samples and auto tune in person. Like, seeing, like, a stripper's pair of titties, too. And it's that fake. Flexing is being foreclosed on. They will soon no longer have their house, which is really the only visual we have that they're successful. I think that they bit off more than they could chew when they started hiring all this high-end talent. And now he's about to lose everything. And to make matters worse, they are getting foreclosed on their $10 million house. Everything they do seems to turn into a scam or lawsuit. We're at about 12 lawsuits right now. It looks like 12 lawsuits? Damn, how much did you guys scam? You're like scamming everyone. And I feel bad for your kids. That's how bad, it, uh, that's how bad it is. Like maybe his wife is gonna leave him. Austin McBroom is such a freaking scammer. I hope this guy goes to jail. The Ace family only had so long before their golden facade of extravagance eventually came crumbling down. Taking a move right out of Dan Bilzerian's playbook, Austin McBroom and his wife Catherine displayed their decadent life inclusive of mansions and fancy cars to their 19 million subscribers on YouTube before being completely and utterly exposed. At the time, I found it really odd that they had two loans on the property totaling nearly- Dang! Yeah, you guys are going in a homeless by time- all the lawsuits has been filed out and you won't be able to afford the rent on your 10 million dollar mansion yes folks you heard me correctly a 10 dollar million mansion by the way when you guys post that you it, that you guys are the nicest family out there, but yet you say that because it's behind camera, because you're faking it. And then you go be it, go on like Catherine's Twitter page or something, right? Or Austin's Twitter page. in Austin's Twitter page, right? It's, it's tr this, folks, is a prime, Catherine and uh, Austin is a prime example on why money cannot buy happiness. And then them two examples is sad. Speaking of which, since Ace Family is so fake, I wonder how fake other family vlogging channels are. Or any of those, uh, any of those channels. It's like, why? I bet that the Ace Family channel, Family fans are going to come down to my comment section be like you're jealous you're jealous they have more subscribers than you and blah blah and freaking blah it's like it's like okay so even if I was jealous it doesn't prove I'm wrong it proves I'm right it is that bad. More screen recording on it million dollar house with a 10 million dollar mortgage on it is going into foreclosure they're being sued for over 130 million dollars for shady and failed business practices all while their viewership on YouTube has declined from Austin and Catherine are scammers well I mean I I've already knew that because because there was this guy that was doing the taco truck thing 
I don't know. And then Austin ended up scamming him. Like, like the scumbag scammed a dude. 200 million per month in late 2018 to only 10 million per month recently. If you were a religious person, you'd say that the Ace family are currently paying for their sins. They're steadily coming to terms with the fact that they cannot outrun the bad decisions from their own past, made at a time when everything was going swimmingly and failure seemed like an impossibility. However, despite previously sitting in a totally unshakable bulletproof position, there was always controversy. The Ace family began their channel back in 2016, and when observing even their first video, we can see that the foundation of their channel was built on fake perfection. They wanted everyone to think that they were a Yes, folks. He even says it's fake. It's fake. When are you guys going to be real? Hitch a perfect family, consisting of former college basketball player Austin McBroom, his fitness model girlfriend Catherine Payers, and their two-month-old baby Elle. This image of being a happy, high-status family with absolutely zero internal problems became increasingly paramount as time progressed. They'd wear matching clothes while out and about. We're matching today. Oh yeah, we're matching. While displaying their perfect home together, and on the side, Austin would even purchase Catherine a new car for Valentine's Day. Okay, so if the Ace fit. There, uh, there's my question still stands. If the Ace family is so fake, imagine how many family vlogging channels are that fake. Like, like, hear me out. Like, imagine the Prince family is as bad. I'll be surprising my queen and my princess with a new car. Yes, people, a new car. And this is not a prank. The naive amongst their audience who believed their pr I don't know, man. After paying that uh, that million, uh, that many lawsuits, plus going homeless, I doubt you're going to have a new car, uh, a new car to surprise them to. Because, let's face it, you're a scumbag. <laughs> You are like, oh, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. And it comes down to you scamming millions and millions of people or countless people. And then you expect us to like, to like, give you sympathy or something. Give you sympathy and yeah, something. Like, like from yeah, lots, like, like that's ever going to happen. Naive amongst their audience who believed their problem free facade saw them as what you might call family goals. And as a result, their channel grew insanely fast, blasting past a million subscribers less than a year after creating their channel, which was met with an over the top, cringy cliche video celebrating the milestone. <laughs> However, now that they had a following, people started to notice and therefore call them out on the fake nature of their lives. It started somewhat subtly. For example, Catherine made a tweet stating, I'm the most laid back, chill, drama free, overly calculated person you'll ever meet. If you don't like it, F off. If someone tries to convince you that their personality is this or that, it's this it or that, but yet, you said that you're drama free, yet you're trying to start up drama. Are you that fucking stupid, Catherine? Yeah. Oh my... Yeah, so it's probably best to assume the opposite, because if they really were that thing, they wouldn't need to tell you. This is highlighted pretty well in that Catherine states she's a laid-back, drama-free person in a combative tweet that requests people to F off. In addition to this, she'd respond to fans stating, Your whack ass is annoying. Mind your own business. Your tweet of my pick is the most attention you've ever had, lol. Highlighting that... Your whack ass, it's annoying, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's the most attention you'll ever have. Yeah, most attention? Only attention that you will ever get is being homeless after paying that many lawsuits that's going to be suing against you. And then you won't have enough money to give it to your kid, to, give, to buy new Lamborghinis for your kids. Like... Most attention that you will ever have? Yeah, after your lawsuits.
the most attention you've ever had, lol, highlighting that maybe she's not the laid back, genuine individual that she proclaims to be. Many would probably agree that in the social media world, the same rule applies. Those who look like they have the best lives, the best families, the best holidays, etc., etc. If Catherine's like that, I wonder if what Austin Austin is going to be like. Like, like, I bet he's going to be some douchey jackass or something. Like, dude, if you're going to say that you two are the nicest couple in the in the camera, you better be. The men of your world probably have some of the men worst lives because hey, world. how good can your life be if all you're trying to do is make others envious of you? Everyone could sense that the Ace family's life was total BS. We all know on an unconscious level that this kind of life is complete and utter garbage. It's all fake. The happy, rich, problem-free life that you see on Instagram does not exist. It's a facade usually put up by miserable people looking to mask their own uninteresting personalities. But in the case of the Ace family, there was no rock-solid evidence yet. They were excellent at covering their trail. However, after moving into an LA mansion only 1.5 years after starting YouTube, Ta -da! the Ace family they began to get exposed on the main screen. When introducing the property, they framed the whole scenario as if he and Catherine had purchased the home. I've always wanted my own home and I've never had one. Catherine's never had one. And the fact that we're able to have one together as a family is a blessing. We've worked so hard for this and this is something that we've always wanted. And to have a home like this to raise Elle and have a backyard and be able to obviously work from home is such a blessing. This has been a dream of mine to have my own house tour. This is crazy. In in addition to this, Austin McBroom would make a post on Instagram stating, If you were to ask me where I'd be at the age of 25, I definitely wouldn't have said, I would be standing on the roof of my own house, implying that he and Catherine had purchased it. However, people became somewhat suspicious when, in a vlog, Catherine's brother mentioned that they should talk to the owner of the property after noticing a problem with the house. Bro, I would call the owner and ask him about the history of his house. Maybe tell me about that, Drew. Mm -hmm. Call Damn. about the history of his house. Viewers would then think, Okay, so even, a, even Catherine's brother that's not like the Ace okay, family. Yeah, yeah. And you can tell yeah. that he's pissed. At Austin, yeah. throughout the address of the property, like, and subsequently discover records stating that it had last sold in April 2016, almost two and a half years before they had moved in. Additionally, they would find another Instagram post by a rental agent who stated that he had just leased this exquisite custom view estate in Woodland Hills, prompting responses such as, So apparently, the new house they bought is just a lease. They're paying $17,000 a month to live in this huge house when they don't even need it. For what? They are idiots. They are always preaching about being being so down to earth and humble and this and that, but instead of just- Yeah, they're not down to earth like they claim. I have a hair on my plate, it's like, it's all right. okay, it's so if you're down to earth, why are you <laughs> tweeting <laughs> that and that? Uh, well, like they're whack I ass, get most attention, plate. or you can out fuck off or something. Uh, like, off of yeah. Catherine and, and Austin, um, <laughs> you two can go <laughs> and get uh, fucked. Yeah, for all we care really about, uh, for all we care. It's, not like you barbarian it's like, your hands. you guys are just like scammers. Scam people so bad. Uh, but instead of just so buying bad. a nice home in LA, they have to spend $17,000 each month just to live in this freaking mansion in the Woodland Hills. Yeah, super down to earth. Though, the Ace family wouldn't live in the house for very long. After only 10 months of living there, they would upload a video titled, Someone Broke Into Our House, stating that while out at Disneyland, they had been robbed. We've been at Disney all day, and someone broke into our house. As you can see, this would, however, turn out to be another event that many considered to be a fake stunt for views. Viewers found it to be a little suspicious that the robbers decided not to take all the electronics that had been left out in the open on the ground floor. I'm so confused. They didn't take the wallet. They didn't hey, take- Hey, jackass. If someone breaks into your house, why not check their security cameras? If it's, uh, oh, wait. If it is wet, you don't have- you, 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 You're too stupid to check them. Because you said that you have security cameras and then someone broke into your house. Oh, wait, no, checking security cameras. Oh, that's a little bit too inconvenient. Like, dude, check your security cameras. Oh, wait, that, who am I kidding? I'm, ta I'm talking to some freaking dumbasses. 
from YouTube. This stuff. Including vlogging cameras which were integral to their YouTube channel, instead going upstairs to look through the walk-in robes where the shoes and clothes were kept. In Pyro Cynical's video on the topic, he noted that the Ace family had installed numerous cameras around the house. We do have Cameras. Yes, Everywhere people. Yes, we? people. Don't try to do no funny stuff. Which were apparently completely. We do have cameras. Check, check, you do. I don't know why you demon check your security cameras. Like, maybe they're fake cameras. Just like your fake. Uh, this, uh, just like you're a fake family. And you guys do deserve that failure. Dumbasses. By the way, when Austin says, quote unquote, haters, that's people credited as, uh, criticizing him because he can't take criticism for shit. But yeah, you see what I mean. How fake the family is. It's like the, some someone broke into his house, and the dumbasses don't even check the cameras. Like, if I had security cameras everywhere in the house, and someone breaks in, the first thing I would probably do is to is to check the security cameras. And. It's like, it's like jackasses. Check the security cameras. 18 is when you can drink and buy at your leisure. Oh, let's not forget. They released a video, a music video, right? I would show it to you, but I would get copyright, uh, copyright claimed and all. And I am not in the mood to fight no copyright claim. But however, it is auto tuned to it is auto tuned to, uh, to hell. And I want to try vodka. And it's not just that. The people in the comment section will defend their favorite vlogging their favorite vlogging channel no matter what. Like, everyone, hold on, but if you're going to, uh, make a vlog channel, be fucking real, that's all we all asked for, not just behind camera type of, type of crap, like, Like, I'm trying to make it, trying to create an example here, but yeah, Catherine and Austin are the prime examples on why happiness, why money does not buy happiness. Wait, I've already said that, but yeah. If you guys, if, if there's going to be any uh, comment, uh, comments on the Ace Family fan base on this video, give me at least 10 likes so I can read them off, uh, read them off of this video. And be sure to, be sure to subscribe, like, and share. And honestly, I think the A the A's family, since they're going to quit, since they're doing the whole world a favor and quitting YouTube, I don't feel sorry for them. Anyway, bye bye and subscribe.